Hi, um, I'm Mike. Um, so I'm recording a video today about uh, James Elkins, Why Art Can't Be Taught. Um, <clears throat> um, it's sort of, it's kind of a survival guide. Um, that's what he calls it for um, anybody who is um, in any kind of art school um, in the US or worldwide. Um, undergrad or grad. So, you know, it may at first not completely relate to like early literacy, but for me it does as a future art teacher and also thinking about, um, you know, how can I teach art? What can I teach and what can, what, I, what, what can I not teach, sorry. Um, so, yeah, I wanna start by saying like, so I, I found this book um, from a professor. I was like, uh, I was in an art school here in the US and, my professor was actually um, a grad student with James Elkins uh, at the University of Chicago, I believe. And so that's how he knew him and he recommended this book to me. And it has since been one of my favorite books about art education. Um, it's, uh, it's funny, um, it's very direct. It, uh, he doesn't mince words. Um, okay, and so now I'm gonna go into that a little bit. Um, what it's about and why it's important to me and why it might be important to you. Um, so I have been in and out of art school it's like for like most of my adult life, I think. Um, so I've, I've seen all kinds of different art schools. Um, and then I have also taught as, as a, at an art school here at the University of Iowa, of course. So there are like a lot of misconceptions when it comes to art and teaching art and what students can expect when they come to an art school or take an art class. Um, and Elkins is like going really deep into that, right? So um, so he, he starts the book by, by sort of having a, having a bunch of um, claims that he then sort of like, um, you know, explores in, in more depth. So some of the claims that he makes is great art cannot be taught, but more run of the mill art can be. Another is art can be taught, but it seems as if it cannot be because, you know, very few students who attend art schools become great artists. Um, <clears throat> art cannot be taught or even nourished, but it is possible to teach right up to the beginning when, when students leave, sort of like leave the school, right? So that you can teach them. And then when they are leaving school, then hopefully they become artists. Um, and art cannot be taught, but it can be fostered and helped along. So he's, again, he's structuring the book around, around these themes. Um, so he's making these claims and then he is sort of like saying, well, what, so if art cannot be taught, what can be taught? And then he explains what can be taught, right? And that's, I think that's really sort of fascinating. Um, and that goes with this misconception, you go to art school and you learn how to paint, right? So we're teaching technique, but we're not teaching technique anymore. That is something that was like maybe true in the Baroque period and at the French Academy, right? Where you had to like, basically like for two years, you just learned how to, how to draw and you weren't even allowed to use color. You just had a at a pencil and you drew. And only when your master decided that you are ready, then you were allowed to move on to color and so on, right? We're not doing any of that anymore. And, you know, for better or worse, but th th that's something that people expect when you think art school that we're teaching them technique, which we don't. Um, so in a way it's, it, it really has become sort of like, almost like a human humanities um, discipline where we talk about the implications of art, um, what art could look like and things like that, right? So he's going into that as well. Um, and then something that is relevant for, for this class, I feel, and for, for, you know, my future as an art teacher is that there are, there are curricular um, implications, I think, um, that are sort of what should be in the curriculum? What is it we can teach? What can we not teach? Um, how does that look in the end? Like what, what are the things that we're assessing, right? So it's, it's, I mean, art, 
an art class, it's like notoriously difficult to grade an art project, right? Um, for example, like most people would say, well, you can, you know, if, as long as there's effort, you know, there's a lot of effort. And so I give you an A. But somebody who is very talented may not have to put any effort into a project while somebody else who is not very talented has to put a lot of effort in it. So there are lots of like really subjective things um, that, that kind of make it difficult to be fair, but also sort of like to, to understand and, and measure if what I'm trying to teach is actually coming across and help, is helpful to my students. And so like, you know, it, it, that's what this book is about. And so it's, it's sort of, it just, it just goes on and on that, um, you know, the idea of what can be taught and learned versus what cannot is sort of the big idea in this book. And he starts by talking about the history of art schools. Then he's making these claims, as I said, and he's coming up with some, you know, I wouldn't call them solutions, but like some ideas that sort of, further, you know, like a, like a further questioning of, of what it is we need, we need to be doing, right? So um, <clears throat> I don't know if I can find something here this quick, but, and I'm sorry, I have not been um, sleeping too much. I have several friends in Ukraine and um, we have been over the last week and a half, we have been trying to help them. I'm also building sort of like an artist, uh, the help program to get like artists in danger out of Ukraine. Um, anyway, sorry, just a little side note, if I, if I seem completely <laughs> all over the place, that is why. Um, I hope that what I wrote in the um, in my little book review on, on our discussion is a little bit more um, coherent than what I'm offering you right now here. But basically, you know, the idea is with this book talks about misconceptions when it comes to art schools. It talks about what can be done about it. Um, how we can make curricular changes and how we can better assess the work that our students produce. And I believe that is overall it. And I hope I haven't bored you too much and I hope I have done my five minutes. Um, all right, good to see you, bye.